Okay, this is a video for the escape room to make it a lot easier for everybody. Uh, you have the written directions, but I also want to make it a video just to make it a little easier. So each teacher is going to receive the breakout box. You have the larger box, which has five locks on it, and you also have a smaller box with the three combo on it. Uh, make sure that the teacher is the only one locking them back up before you pass them on to the next group. So I'm going to go over um, kind of like a step-by-step -step of how to have th how everything set up and how this is going to work. So you have your written directions, which comes in your packet, so you can go through that. Um, you'll have your ransom note, which has the first clues from each group. Make sure you have four groups, and each group is labeled with a color. All of, everything is color coded for them. Okay. So their first clues are going to lead them to uh, different parts of the room where you're going to have clues already hidden. In this packet right here, I already have it listed of exactly where you need to put them in the classroom. The students are going to need a Chromebook with a QR code reader. I have already set, sent that to you. Make sure that it's maybe under Google Classroom or something. All right. Um, it's all going to lead them to coming to this box right here with this code. Each group has to open it. So after one group opens it, there's a clue in there that tells them a secret code that they need to come and tell you. They need to make sure that they close that back up and each group relocks it and that that piece of paper stays in there for all three classes because there's only one paper for each set of the escape room boxes. Um, they're going to whisper the hidden code to you. They're going to give you, you're going to give them the hidden word search um, clue. They will do the word search, which will probably take them a little bit of time. The hidden word clue is going to lead them to their combinations to be able to open the locks, the different locks. Um, so what we have over here, one group will have the key. One group will need to come up with the directions, um, which are the anchor cards. Okay, the anchor cards. Each anchor card has a blue dot, which it tells them that they need to put that to the left, so that's the starting spot, and they match the direction. The, the bottom of the anchor is pointing to the direction locks here. Um, if they have a hard time, you can go ahead and help them a little bit. The last spot is always blue because it's a blue group. Another group has to figure out what the word is here, and then the red group has to come up with their code for this one. After they open their lock, you give them the final clue envelope which they will work on and each group will then have one number to come up with the combination and you have your little lock things which you can have out for them so the green group is the first number the yellow group is the second and so on if the class is successful in opening the case you have your we rescued chessie which you can hang out in your classroom um, if you have any further questions please don't hesitate to come see me thanks